what I'm saying? It's not hurting you. It's not costing you nothing to say, all right, this is going to be called purple. Like, call him purple. Hey, mm-hmm. Well, did anybody see on Netflix the new, um, you know, stand-up that Dave Chappelle has going on? identify as trans you no longer identify as being a lesbian because a lesbian is two females that have sex with each other um if you're a lesbian then you're identifying as female and if you're transgender that means you're transgender from one sex to another so it's just confusing and it confuses a lot of people because how are you trans but you identify as lesbian um if you're trans then that means you're either going to be bisexual you're going to be straight or you're going to be either polygamous where it's though you have like you're attracted to all sex you, you don't mm-hmm. care you know i mean yeah. so you, you can't be trans a trans man and be a lesbian that, that that's just that doesn't make sense so if two trans men get together would they be considered gay Yes, that would be two. That they would be gay. They would be two gay men because you, you're a transgender. You're identifying as a man. Um, transgender, a trans man or a transgender man is born female. Now transitioning to the sex of a male. So if you're identi- if you're attracted to the uh, a male or um, like. The sex of a male, then yes, you are a gay male. You're a transgender gay male. That's what you are. If you are a trans man um, and you're attracted to both sexes, you're a trans. You're attracted to females and men. Then you're bisexual. If you're a trans man that's attracted to all sex, meaning you're attracted to trans women, trans men, men, women. Um, it doesn't matter what you identify as, queer, whatever it, whatever the case may be, you are polygamous. E, vice versa is with a trans woman. A trans woman can be identified as a lesbian, but a trans a trans woman cannot be identified as gay because gay is considered two men having sex with each other. You're no longer identifying as a man, so you would be, um, if you are attracted to uh, le- uh, another woman or a female figure, that would be lesbian or polygamous because you're open to transgender women, men, um, whatever the case may be. But I want to ask a question because I have a brother that's a trans man and when he's around other people, you cannot call him a she and he will uh, get an argument, but when he's around some of his other friends who haven't transitioned and are lesbians or how you want to call it, Mm -hmm. Down, he accepts it. Because at that time he's not he's not content within himself to correct them at that time. Um it's a personal issue at that point because okay, I can correct people that I don't know, but people that I know and I grew up with that know me before I transition is hard for me to correct them. That that's basically what I'm getting from the situation. So he had to gain the confidence to say, yo. That's not who I am no more. Address me as such. But it's, she just, like, it's just like with your parents, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You grew up with your parents this this whole time. They knew you as one person, and then you change. And then it's like, okay, how do I correct the person that, that raised me, that, that grew up with me, that, that knows me? You know what I'm saying? That had authority over me. How do I correct this person and say no? This is not who I am. I need you to address me as such. And if you don't, then we no longer need to. We need no longer to con- have in contact with each other because um, I just known personal situations where people who transgender they cut situ- um, people off close to them. Whereas though, if they don't respect their transition or can't get in tune or in line with how they identify, then we can't have contact with each other. Is because at this point you're deliberately disrespecting me. I don't care 
if I walked around this bitch saying I'm purple and I want to be called purple, call me fucking purple. Like, that's just what I want to be called. You know what I'm saying? Respect it as, as such. You know what I'm saying? It's not hurting you. It's not costing you nothing to say, all right, this nigga want to be called purple. Like, call him purple. Hey, Bernie. Well, did anybody see on Netflix the new, um, you know, stand-up that Dave Chappelle has going on um, on Netflix? Um, on one of his um, sections of the show, he talks about, um, you know, the transgender community and their identity. And um, he said that he thinks it's comedic, but he understands it. He said something about if they want to be called a woman or whatever, you should call them a woman, and et cetera. He was like, but think about it. You, you, somebody saying they were born in the wrong body. He was like, everybody wants to identify what they want to identify with. He, and so then he scrunched up his face and squinted his eyes. He's like, and I want to be Chinese. So if I walk around with this face and say that I want to be Chinese, he was like, you should respect it. He's like, you shouldn't feel like I'm trying to mock anybody or being, you know, a fool. If I want to identify as Chinese, you should. How do y'all feel about that? I can't, I can't, I, I can't relate to that because it's nothing for somebody to go get plastic surgery and change their face. Plenty of fucking celebrities have done it. Mm-hmm. Fucking little Kim herself looks like the boy, you know what I'm saying, the Gundam style boy, like. Gundam style. Like, she didn't change her whole fucking identity. Like, you know, she, she went some girl, I do not, I do not support this man. Like, I do not support this man. Like, she went from black to Chinese. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, little Kim looks totally different. You know what I'm saying? She, if she wanted to say, oh, I'm mixed with what the Kardashians mixed with, that's what she, well, who is me to say she not mixed with? She looks like she is. Like, really honest. It's to this point where I still say the same thing. If it makes you happy, you go right ahead. That don't affect me. Back in the day, people put too much time and energy and labels and stuff like that. Or what you, what you, eat, what you eat don't make me shit. Like, that part. And, and, and that's just my thing. Like, what you do with your life ain't really affecting me. So if you want to go around this genre, you know what I'm saying, just openly, like, just loud, gay, and happy, that's your thing. If you want to be stealth and don't want nobody to know that you trans and just want to live your straight life and be happy, then that's you, you know what I'm saying? Do you, you know what I'm saying? That's not affecting me. Like, that's not putting no bread in my pocket. It's not taking no bread out of my pocket. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not affecting me. Like, as long as you're not... You know what I'm saying? You're not coming at me or being disrespectful or none of that. Like, we don't have no problem. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get into this next topic. Um, what should a trans person do if interested in a heterosexual? 